sometimes, you know, I like somebody to hold my hand. <laughs> Hello friends, my name is Brandon Dayton, I'm your humble narrator, Oof. and welcome to Arson and Plunder Unleashed! It's actually a pretty cool beat em up game where you switch back and forth between uh, an elf mage and obviously an orc warrior. So there's a, a good amount of duality. This warrior can uh, deep deal the damage, however, uh, sometimes you need to switch to the mage, especially when you've got groups coming in. They they send huge hordes of enemies after you in this game, but it's, it's usually decently handleable. I've been enjoying myself quite immensely with this game, for as simple as it is. It is a little bit clunky, especially when you're trying to do the uh, jumping controls, but the magical attacks are extremely powerful and mana is pretty plentiful as well. In the upper left you can see uh, my mana bar is blue and then the health bar is a little harder to see but it is uh, near to the character portrait from the mana bar. Boosh! Beat some mages up! Fuck! It feels so good just being an orc, man. Just being an orc, bro. So, um, oh yeah, the special skills. Okay, the mage has a uh, fireball which costs one bar of mana. You have three bars of mana. Uh, then there's a rain of fire that costs two bars of mana. And then there's a giant fucking nova that you can actually target. And that costs all of your mana. The orc uh, has a whirlwind cleave, which is really good for when you get surrounded. And, uh, yeah, like that. <laughs> and then he's also got a charge, which uses two bars of mana. And uh, a berserk, which increases his damage for a pretty good long time. I like the berserk. Yeah, we did that. That wasn't too bad. So, I've decided for the gameplay side, the controls get a 6 out of 10. They're a little less responsive than I'd like. I hate the mountains, it's so cold. Don't worry, when we find Carol, we'll light a fire and keep warm. Aw, they're being good friends. They hate each other because they're like, orcs and the elves are racist and stuff. <laughs> Anyways, the controls I've given the 6 out of 10, they're not super fluid, but they certainly get the job done. Uh, controller definitely feels better than the keyboard, but I applaud them for having the option of either one. The fun factor, I've given this game a 7 out of 10. It's extremely, extremely good. I like, uh, just having giant hordes of enemies come against me, and then yeah, seeing one character take them out and strategizing to do so, yeah, dash. <laughs> it's just, it's a really good feeling when you do conquer it. You'll probably fail just a little bit. But, uh, you can't be scared of that in this game. The difficulty, this kind of fits right in, is, uh, 10 out of 10. <laughs> this game will brutalize you. The bosses have some, uh, pretty cool mechanics. There's one boss that forces you to jump. Um, he, like, pounds the ground every few seconds, so you gotta keep on jumping. And, eventually, I just use the orc to smash him in the face and keep him from pounding the ground. But... They, I'm sure there's bosses that the mage is more useful for as well. So it's just finding the right combination. I think it's really, really good. Really, really beefs up the challenge. And sort of saves the replayability. The replayability for this game is a 6 out of 10. I don't see a whole lot of reason to replay it, to be quite honest. There's 5 levels, uh, or 5 stages with like 5 levels in them. So 25 stages, they're relatively short, but uh, you get the high score, which helps to bring it back around again, make it a little bit more replayable, although there is no global high scoreboard, unfortunately. The innovation is not too great, I've given them the 3 out of 10, I like the switching back and forth mechanic, um, I haven't seen it done quite this way before, so it's, it's an interesting thing, um, but yeah, not quite enough to make me go, wow, this is something totally new. It's, it's, uh, not something new, but it's relatively well-worn, however, it's serviceable. I'm having a lot of fun with it. <laughs> Graphics, I've decided to give a 9 out of 10. They're really, really freaking good. Uh, I really like how the foreground moves, and it gives a lot of depth to everything. Even the characters and stuff, when you're moving uh, back and forth. It, it seems something that's, like something that's minor, but it's definitely a hard thing to implement, so... I applaud them, and especially in the background, it just looks awesome. The music for this game, I've given a 10 out of 10. It is fucking fantastic. Rocking so hard. Oh, I got rocked hard. I went in there too much with the elf, I think, if you watch that back. Um, 
But anyways, the music is metal as fuck, and I absolutely love it. 10 out of 10 for the music. It's well-constructed metal. Um, there's not, like, any gigantic riffs or anything like that, but it's definitely what it needs to be for a game that is this extreme and this fucking awesome. The story, I've given a 3 out of 10. Uh, the humans come to take the orc and... God damn. The orc and elf lands away. However, uh, yeah, that orcs and elves decide to band up together and destroy the humans. So, not a great story. I guess there's a little bit of, uh, nature awareness in there. But, really the reason that I like the story is just some of the writing. Even though the story is not that complex, uh, they do fit a couple of jokes in that is probably worth the price of admission. And finally, we've got the level design. I've given it a 1 out of 10. I'm not really impressed by it. It's a beat-em-up. Um, you do have obstacles and such, but I find them to be more annoying than anything. Especially in the first level, I wasn't realizing why these traps were popping out of the ground. Because they were just like differently shaped stones that were traps. And eventually I put it together, but for the longest time I couldn't figure it out. And I kind of like that about this game. It just throws you into it without holding your hands. But uh, sometimes, you know, I like somebody holding my hands. It's lonely out here slaughtering all these humans by myself. Jeez. Ah, Grog Grilla Rock! Do you understand anything of his language? No, this is beyond my knowledge. Huh, Grog Aloof! <coughs> Sorry, I choked on some nuts. What a shame. If you passed away, we would have saved our time. Would have saved you some pain, too. Don't worry, little one. We're very generous, and we'll give you some pain. Oh, snap. See, like, that's some pretty good writing right there. I definitely enjoyed, like, choked on some nuts. That's fucking silly as shit. <laughs> so, definitely big props uh, to this game. It gets a 3.08, almost a 3.1 out of 5 stars, um, which is pretty damn good. I can't say that my expectations were huge, because whenever I hear beat him up, I'm like, ah, ugh. Uh, I want to beat this little dude. Yeah, he's got, like, a little wave attack, too, so I guess I gotta jump over that. Oops. Damn. The game is definitely not easy, but, like I said, that's one of the things that buffs out the fun factor for me. And definitely the replayability as well. It is short, however. You'll probably spend three hours, at the most, running through the campaign. Which isn't fantastic for seven dollars. I might wait till it's on sale, but if you're a fan of this genre, then you know seven dollars. It's it's not that much. It's not gonna hurt. You're supporting indie devs. God damn. So friends, this has been Arson and Plunder. I've been Brandon Dayton, your humble narrator. I do hope that you have enjoyed this episode, and if you did, I hope you will like, comment, and or subscribe. And I think the secret to this boss is just beating him back this way. So when he uses his little, his little earth wave thing, it knocks his minions back. Yeah, like that. And then we don't really even have to deal with him. So yeah, this is a boss that the mage is more useful for. Really awesome. I, I, I'm a fan of this game. I would suggest going out and at least checking it out. If you like the beat-em-ups. Which I definitely do. I played Final Fight so much when I was little. Anyways, I said all I got to say, I think, about this game. Until the next time, friends. Bye bye! One, two, three, four. Goodbye, goodbye, see you again. Goodbye, goodbye, see you, my friends.